Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the differential pair dynamic phase control uh, DRC check inside the Cadence PCB tools. So predominantly when you're routing a, a differential pair, you want them to kind of be uh, matched in length. So there's a static phase control that, that does that, effectively looks at that. It's a one-time check from effectively from the driver to the receiver that would check the length of the differential pair going all the way through. Um, and there's a, another video showing you how to use this. But the dynamic phase control actually looks at... Uh, each segment length but and uh, as you route along a differential pair obviously by the nature of the way that I've routed this this kind of this blue colored trace here you can see that um, one trace will be longer than the other one but it happens at certain points along the track and we can actually use the dynamic phase control DRC to look at this so let's look at constraint manager so we go to setup and constraints if we then um, look at the, we'll actually create a rule set for this. So if we look at the electrical constraint set routing differential pair, I've got a diff pair rule here. And I've got effectively a dynamic phase, so I can set a maximum length. So for a certain amount of length, they must be within a certain tolerance. So we'll go and set a value here of uh, seven and a half millimeters, and maybe 0.254 is the tolerance. So for every seven and a half millimeters, we must be within plus or minus 0.254 of a millimeter. I can then go, uh, and that's then applied automatically because I've got this differential pair rule here applied to my phase DRC. So we'll just analyze this, and then what you'll see is that um, you can see I'm actually out of phase. If we go back to the to the main canvas window, you, we can see this uh, the DRC error. So let's hover over the DRC error, and you can see, obviously, it should be within 0.254. The actual value is this value. And you get these phase bars uh, going in between to give you indications of where you're coming out of phase. So all we can do is we can just use the root phase tune command to just go and add some phase bumps. Um, and what we'll do is we'll add some phase bumps uh, to this one. So I probably want to add maybe a phase bump here. Let's add another one here. And uh, we'll add another one here as well. And then we'll drop a couple in here. And you can see the phase bar starting to be removed as we go along. So we'll just then drop some more phase bumps in here. And that should then get rid of all of the DRC. We're good to go. If you go back to Constraint Manager, you can see effectively the phase is now being met. Let's just analyze that again just to confirm it all completely. And you can see that we're being met completely and we're good to go.